this is i'm not even kidding like literally i should be going to engineering school hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is maria it'd be really cool and cute if you hit the subscribe button we're just trying to grow <laughs> I still have dry shampoo in my hair. Happy New Year! It's not gonna be New Year's anymore when you're watching this, but right now it is currently January 1st. <sighs> Time is fake. <laughs> I just did a playlist video, so I'm not really gonna do like a drive with me with music because I just did that. I thought it would be cool to like sit and talk because even though it seems like I talk all the time in all my videos because I do because I never shut up. True. I haven't really sat down and like talked in a while so I thought it'd be cool just drive around with me talk about how 2018 was things that I learned how 2019 is gonna be good okay I guess we'll get this little drive with me on the road literally I'm sorry if the lighting gets weird because it's gonna get weird because it's like I said two o'clock in the afternoon and January 1st so it's like technically golden hour ish i guess why is my my car is making some weird noises okay so 2018 i don't even people are like my 2018 started off pretty rocky if you asked me what i was doing the first half of 2018 i couldn't tell you because i literally don't remember <laughs> i'm trying to think like january i started school again in march i went to california for spring break okay back up I do remember so my spring semester of my sophomore year was the beginning of 2018 and it was pretty awesome because I got really close with Amanda and Molly who you all know from literally everything I had Kate I had Julia I had Joe and like I'm very grateful for them because they're like and then the summer came and I started back up on YouTube because I realized that that's something I really like to do and it's something that I really like to put my time in and my effort into because I enjoy it and it makes me happy so that's why I started making videos again I was really on my fitness and health grind I was going to the gym eating healthy it was really a summer of growth and then fall semester came around I was pretty nervous not gonna lie I was really stressed out For the first month of school I'm not even kidding there's probably videos I can find them of me I would cry I cried every single day I'm not even kidding because I was just like for no reason like I don't even know why Looking back at it, I'm like, what the f Like, why did I cry so much? I got my first internship, which was awesome, working in PR, and I loved it, and it was great. And I had I worked with some amazing people and learned some amazing things that I'm so grateful for. I was on a school grind, but obviously I was lacking in other departments, such as YouTube. This actually surprises me. Towards the end of the semester is when I really started picking back up my channel, like recently, these past few weeks, which is crazy because it was literally the most stressful three or four weeks of my whole life, I feel like. Flashback to that presentation, which, update, I got an A- minus in the class! Can you believe that? The, the hot dog presentation that I had to give that I cried during? Yeah, I got an A- minus in that class, so you can do anything. If I can do that, you can do anything. <laughs> 2019, baby. But yeah, I mean, I feel like that's like what 2018 was. Oh, what the fuck? I literally went to Europe. I went to Amsterdam. That was my first time out of the country, and it was literally awesome and the best experience of my whole life because I was with two of my favorite people in the whole entire world. All these amazing people in my life. Life sucks sometimes, but as long as you have good people by your side, it doesn't suck as much, you know? But yeah, I guess that was like my 2018. And I think like the one big thing that I took out of it, nothing matters as much as you think. It does, you know? Like I spent so much time stressing out about like what other people were doing and like doing well in school, which is important. Everyone should stay in school. Like if you fail a class, you fail a class. Who gives a frick? It's literally not even worth like your mental health and like stability to pass a class because it's not a big deal. I learned that mainly from going to school 
in the city and like the pressure behind like getting an internship and like kind of starting your life quickly or like m more sooner it literally doesn't matter put that on my tombstone it don't matter i learned that i can literally just take craft scissors to my hair and cut it all right now that i'm done talking about 2018 let me talk about 2019 the year that we're in right now goals that i have for 2019 let me think get through it just get through it 2019 is going to be a bumpy ride i can feel it but like in a good way you know I think New Year's resolutions are dumb, but like if that's what you want to do, do it. If that's what's gonna help you achieve your goals, make a resolution, make 10 resolutions. If that's what's gonna help you stay on track and achieve your goals and live your best life and be the best version of yourself, make them and comment them down below. Comment down below your New Year's resolution. I don't have any, I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. But I know that you guys have them, so comment them down below. Goals that I have for 2019, I'm just gonna speak them into the universe right now. Number one, Kate, the other day, sent me disposable photos from Amsterdam. Amsterdam was a wild, wild ride, as you all know. There was one night in particular where we we got a little bit crazy. The drinking age over there is 18. Things got crazy. A disposable photo was taken of me and this man. I have no idea who he is. Kate, no idea who he is. Texted it to Joe. He has no clue who he is. No one knows who this man is. My main goal in life is to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> you all know that. But my second main goal of 2019 is to find out who this man is. Oh, another goal I have for 2019 is to learn more about astrology. Because that shit's cool. Stars and shit. That's cool. Comment your sign down below. Oh. If you guys heard me literally like fidgeting with my fingers, it's because I got a pair of AirPods. Right, here's the right one. Can you see the right AirPod? This is the left one, pretty similar to the right, but just a little bit different. It's left. As I've been using them, there's more and more features that I didn't even know. Like when you take it out, even if it's like you're watching Netflix or you're watching a YouTube video, if you take it out, it pauses. Like how does it know that? How does Safari know that? And then when you put it back in, it starts again. It just knows. It like feels you. Maybe we should name them. Comment down below what I should name my AirPods. Think of something good. Think of something funny. You have another goal for 2019. I'm just thinking now, which is something I don't do very often. Wanna stop being dirty? Did you hear me? I'm not kidding when I say this every time I listen to that lyric I get chills through my body I know that he's not a good person but that song's good so sorry Literally how is everyone's New Year's? Chill, tell me. <laughs> All right, hi everyone. I just went to the gym, had a good sweaty, nice workout. Um, and I'm literally shaking because I realized mid-workout that I haven't eaten anything today. I, I got this nasty paper cut at work the other day and it hurts. Like we're definitely leaving those behind to 2018. lighting is really flattering and really cute but i'm home now thank you guys so much for watching i know it was just me talking for a really long time if you haven't already please subscribe give this video a fat thumbs up and yeah we're just trying to grow i will see you guys in my next video which i don't know what that's gonna be yet but I'm gonna get creative for sure bye